Hello guys, we're back on the head today. Uh, where we left off yesterday, had the valve springs out, all the uh, valves are out of the engine now. I got a head start here on cleaning this combustion chamber, that's what we're going to work on today. I'm going to show you how I go about that without having to take it to a machine shop or people that have the proper tools to s let these things uh, sit in those hot washes that they have for them. Uh, what I basically use for the process is carb cleaner, which this is mostly carbon buildup, works on that, and then a uh, Dremel tool. On the Dremel tool I have a brass end on it, probably need to change this one's kind of had it. I would wear some kind of eye protection because these, as you can see, these uh, bristles do have a tendency to fly off. I'd hate, have to go get that taken out of my eye. So what I'm going to start with here, give it a good spray for the car cleaner. Fired up. Before I, well, you, the areas you want to avoid are the actual mating surfaces where the block meets the head meets the gasket where it bolts on the block. So I'm going to not go outside of this. I'm going to keep everything in here, and I'm also going to avoid as much as I can the valve seats themselves. I'm, they get hit lightly, but not too much, because again, these uh, that's where your valves go down and seal into the cylinder to uh, create compression in the engine. So I'm going to get started with the Dremel tool now. So after I hit that for just a little bit with the Dremel tool, I'll go back with the uh, carb cleaner to kind of clean up what I got off and to let the next layer down, kind of get a taste of that. Getting down, it's the um, exhaust side that's going to be your dirtiest. You probably won't even have to really hit the inside of the um, inlets, inlet side of the engine. That does it unless it's just really old or bad gas or whatever. You'll keep up with it, oil changes and whatnot. This, the intake side is going to be pretty clean now. Just trying to show you in there. The intake side is going to be the dirtiest, so I try to get down there with that brush. This one here, you see where I've already been in there. There's still deposits. I'm not too worried about that. Again, this is a daily driver. It's not a race car. More race car. I'd have this out of shop having this done. So I'm going to jump ahead, uh, do this. I'll show you what I've got when I'm finished. I'll show you another project I got going on in the meantime, in the middle of all that. Working on these hubcaps for the Honda. You see, I've got one done. Uh, Degreasing these, hitting them with the pressure sprayer, wet sanding. And we're not talking about qual uh, show quality or anything, just enough to get them looking nice and bright again. These go on my 93 Honda Civic. I bought that car when the red one started having trouble. Paid $400 for it. Get 40 miles to the gallon. It's got a completely rebuilt engine in it. I'll probably go over some things with that in a future video. But just thought as an aside, I'd show you, you know, why things are drying out here. I'm also working inside. So let's get back to the head. Okay, this is the end result here. Um, again, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. This is not a 400 horsepower engine, but I've got all the high spots off. The main thing is that the combustion chamber is now clean. You want to be a little bit particular with the intake side. See here, the intake side, because that's the one that's going to make the real difference. Also, these are the intake are the exhaust ports that connect to the headers. See, I just I went down there with my brush and I just basically hit the high spots. I don't know this for sure, but it seems to me that if you give some place 
for the carbon to take root and start to grow, that's where you're going to get a, a spot growing on you. So I don't know if that's scientifically sound or not, but it kind of makes sense. On the other side, intake side, try to flip this thing over one-handed. You do want this to be clean. I'm working on this one right now. You can see it's gummy down in there. That's gas mixed with carbon and gets sticky. The last one looks pretty good. But I'm going to continue with the carb cleaner and my wire wheel, which they're worn down to almost nothing now. But that's the price you pay. So let me finish up here and I'm going to continue on. All right, and we're back on the intake side. I'm going to show you what I've accomplished here. All right, let's see if I can... this is not the best camera for this, but as you can see, I've got the stickies and the gummies out. Do that with carb cleaner, my uh, brass brushes, and also what I was doing, I have a very old scotch bright pad. Put that over your finger and just follow the contours scrub it with the uh, carb cleaner as you can see I've I hope you can see I've achieved a pretty good surface to deal with there and of course this is all going to be brake cleaned again and pressure sprayed and brake cleaned okay we're going to get the uh, valves cleaned up we're going to start lapping those back into the head all right for this part we'll be using the wire wheel I'm going to try to show you these valves this is one of the exhaust side. Everything past this point, I'm not going to bother, not going to touch it. Of course, all this deposits that have built up. Still new to the camera game. Ugh, I'll get it. Get all those deposits off of this. So that's what we're going to do. I'm wearing my gloves for this. Hold this with my hand. It takes a light touch against the uh, against the wire wheel. Keep a good hand on it. Uh, don't you dig in too deep, it's going to possibly come back and get you in the mouth. Fire it up.
to get this up where you can see it. Alright, nah. This camera's not the greatest either, but as you can see, got the crusties off. I'll figure it out. Everything's backwards. Alright, I'll show you one of the other ones to compare it to. Done, or not done, done, not done, done. So I have to do that 16 more times. I will not bore you with those details. Come back when I'm done. A little bit later, I've finished up. Exhaust valves are the hardest, no doubt about it. I don't know why the, the face of it is, is harder to clean than the face of the intake valves. I mean, they're both subject to combustion. I can understand why the out, the other side of the valve is worse because the exhaust could pass through it. I don't know. What do I want to know? Um, you see here, the, the inside of the valves are concave. If you want to be anal and get air every single last piece out, you go right ahead. I'm not going to worry about it on this. Uh, the v intake valves were not as big of an issue in that respect. Uh, one caution, again use eye protection when you do this uh, wire wheels you, little wire come off get in your eye this uh, build up can come off and get in your eye of course you don't want to show up in the ER with that kind of problem another thing I would say this is actually the the exhaust valves take a bit of time to get clean I will say take your time don't rush through that um, you get your fingers next to that wire wheel it's spinning very fast you catch that valve while it's working. It's liable to throw that into your leg, into your face, or into your mail parts, anything like that. I'll tell you a quick story. A friend of mine was uh, building a house. He was ripping wood on a table saw, one after the other, just monotonous. Cut his thumb off. I had to have that reattached. And it wasn't because he was didn't know what he was doing. He just got lax because of the monotony of what he was doing. So keep that in mind when you're working on that. The next thing we're going to do is put these into the head, lap them, and uh, show you what goes into that. I got the head back outside. I pressure washed it. No, I did not paint it. That was from the tires I was doing earlier. I just got all the grime off, a little bit of brake spray. Getting ready to put the uh, valve seals back in it. Show you my little, I call it 10-foot car. It's pretty good from 10 feet away. Finished up those wheels, put them back on. It turned out pretty sharp. Pretty sharp for what it is. All right. Let this finish up drying. We will get back inside and start working on the valve seals. And lapping the valves. Ooh, that's a lot of fun. All right, friends, it got a little late on me. I'm not going to be able to get into the valve lapping and seals at this point. Good stopping point. Got everything cleaned up, looking pretty good. The valve's looking decent. We've shown you all that. The next video, I'm going to go into the valve seals, lapping, and what goes into that. At this point, you like what you've been seeing, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I will try to get back to you on that. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to leave you with a little wildlife out in the backyard. Thank you for watching. Come on. Come on. All right, come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on.